Hello everyone, my name is Paul Renard and today I would like to show you how to make the sounds for your games using almost only Kratos Studio. It's also my first technical reel on Unreal Engine 5, so let's dive in. Using the Unreal Learning Kit, I managed to make a little platformer where you have to get two magical items to be able to finish the level. But first you have to get the keys to have access to the magical items. I started by recording different ambiences that would change dynamically based on the vector Z of the character. Using a Blender track, driven by an RTPC, wherever the player is, the sound is gonna change. Let's give a bit more context. For the player, I recorded some footstep sounds and some close sounds. Then based on the velocity of the character movements, I'm sending this value to the RTPC. And then posting the event on begin play. For the footsteps, I'm using line traces, and every time the player hits the floor, it will get the surface type and then switch sounds depending on the material. After that, I just post the event. Here is how it sounds alone. And with the rest of the sounds. Whenever the character is flying, I added some wind and some medical touch. I created the moving platform actor in C++ and then posted the event directly inside the script. The sounds are made using Kratos Studio inside car ambience. Then I send the output sound to Traveler and create even more movements. For the occlusion, I made a whole system. In the environment blueprint, I'm getting the listener position and the actor location. Then I'm setting a max distance variable, and if the distance between the source and the listener is less or equal to the max distance, then I'm drawing a multi-line trace per object, and setting the RTPC on the out heat. To have better controls when it comes to wall, I create another variable, which is gonna be the occlusion per heat. And depending on the amount of objects that are separating the source from the listener, it gets more occluded. For the voices, this is where I couldn't use Kratos Studio. So I decided to use Kratos the Humanizer. And made different voices for the NPCs and the player. Kevin, there is a magical item on the other side of that bridge. To make the portal sounds, I used Kratos Studio again and I sent the output sounds to my recent sounds and patch. All of the rest of the sounds have been made with Kratos Studio. The UE sounds, the buttons, the doors. It's a pretty fun and fast way to get the sound you want. Now, if you need sounds for your games, don't hesitate to contact me. Have a good day, everyone. Peace.